Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to look ahead to the next area that I do believe will develop, the next spot we're watching, and we'll just take it storm by storm. This here is what is left of Oscar. That is really falling apart as expected. We have a tropical wave moving closer to Trinidad and Tobago. So for us from Trinidad up through St. Lucia, Barbados, some extra rain and storms. This here, the remnants of what was Nadine did combine with another area of low pressure. This is now Christie on the flip side in the Eastern Pacific. With all of that said, this is the area I do believe we're watching for development, especially by next week, right into the Western and Central Caribbean. Once again, a lot of rain is gonna build here near the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, even over toward Haiti as we get into uh, next week. And I do believe we have a higher chance of development there. So if we're looking ahead to where we could see our next tropical storm potentially develop, this would be the spot. And look at the models. They are all kind of picking up on this. The American model has this area becoming a hurricane. The Canadian model, which sometimes is written off, has this becoming a tropical storm. But keeping in mind, the Canadian model was really the only one that saw Oscar developing. And it did a good job with Oscar. And it's saying, hey, this spot's going to be a tropical storm. Now, the European model and the icon, the latest kind of output from the computers, is saying no tropical storm in this area, but yesterday and parts of last night, they were showing signs of development. So all the models are at least seeing something in here as far as what's going to develop, well, that's what we'll be tracking uh, together. Now, what does this mean? If something develops here, well, where the heck is it going to go? Well, obviously nothing has developed yet. It is simply a spot to watch at this point. But this time of year, it is a little different. Uh, we get these fall fronts that roll through the United States. Now, sometimes these fronts can time out in which they would take something and draw it up to the north. For example, not that this is going to be a Wilma, uh, but if you remember Wilma way back in the day, what was that, 2005, that brought something up to the north. On the flip side, just like we saw with Nadine, if these fronts kind of uh, pass by or are weaker, whatever develops here may kind of drift its way off to the west. So not sure yet. Need to see kind of what develops and then I'll, go to get, I'll get a good handle on the fronts up to the north. That'll be a big key by next week in steering whatever this is. Now this may not even be a named system, but at the least I am seeing a lot of rain building here. So kind of an early heads up in Jamaica. Nothing's necessarily coming at us, right? But you know, kind of getting the word out that, hey, there's another spot we're going to be watching together and we'll do so same thing Cayman Islands even over toward Haiti parts of Cuba this moisture may eventually lift somewhat to the north now all eyes have been on uh, the Bahamas Turks and Caicos eastern Cuba fortunately Oscar has been a uh, weakening it's pretty much not even a tropical system at this uh, point but here's the spot we're watching so let me go out in time with this and the Canadian model uh, just kind of going uh, uh, well out in time to show you exactly what I'm seeing with development so we'll get into Oscar in a moment for our friends in Bermuda and Eastern Canada. But let's take ahead here. This is Friday and then just swinging into the upcoming weekend. So we're going well out in time here, several days out in time. Now you see here, by the time we get into Sunday, the rain starts to build. Better chance of rain, Cuba, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua. So first sign of development, the moisture that will be building. We'll start to see that this weekend. So when I join you this weekend, if we're seeing a lot of rain building here, that's really going to tell us that something is going to be developing. And then you see that surge of moisture further by the time we get into Monday. So we're looking at six days from now, something starting to develop according to the American model, which has done well. Each model's done pretty well at times this season. I don't just rely on the models. I really look at what's going on in the environment. But then you see here, once we get deeper into next week, this is a week from now, and then we'll go even a week and a day from now, a ton of moisture here in the American model does try to make this either a tropical storm or even more likely eventually eventually a, a hurricane, but we'll, we'll see on that. This is over a week from now. The American model, model does try to pull this action kind of to the north, Jamaica, back through Haiti, and over toward Cuba. But I mentioned it all depends on the timing of those fronts, right? If these fronts are really not there at this time, then whatever this area is may wiggle its way off to the west. So kind of two scenarios on where it may go. But the reason, I don't just like to tell you the weather. I like to show you the reason behind it. The steering on this is going to be the front. So 
if this front is in place, it'll draw it up to the north. If the front has already passed by, whatever this area is, may wiggle back to the west. So the American model saying, yeah, that's going to develop into a tropical storm, maybe in the uh, Caribbean next week. We'll, we'll see as we work our way into tomorrow. Now, here's the Canadian model, which I don't often show, did a really good job with Oscar. There's Oscar, again, not really tropical in nature. This is the spot we're watching. Here's Trinidad, We have, or excuse me, here's Jamaica. Here we are in Trinidad here, uh, Barbados, St. Lucia there with that tropical wave just to kind of set the stage. But Jamaica, Cayman Islands right here. So going out in time again, bringing you into the upcoming weekend. This here is by the time we get into Sunday, just like the American model, some of the extra rain just kind of building up. Here's Cuba, the extra rain building, right? So now we start to see something kind of a gathering. And then I'll be fine tuning the environmental conditions. Yeah, a lot of rain's going to build, but will that be conducive for a system to develop? Well, that's still a wait and see. But you see here, here's Jamaica right here. This is by the time we get into Wednesday, so a week and a day from now, it is showing some sort of a tropical entity and then eventually a tropical storm developing somewhere in the vicinity of Jamaica as we work our way into next week. Now, this is, this is kind of what we're watching on the steering again. Here's one of those fronts coming through the U.S. You see it kind of sliding by parts of Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas. Here is the front. If this front moves in quick enough, it could grab this, potentially slide it up toward parts of the Southeast US or the Bahamas or Cuba, or if the front is a little bit slower, this area may just kind of sit there or wiggle its way off toward the west. So kind of showing you the scenarios. But the point of this is, I know there's a lot of what ifs with this. I really like to look ahead for you uh, to give you that early heads up. The early heads up is this is a spot we're going to monitor together for the potential of development. Hopefully it's just some rain. Let's let's hope uh, it's not a named storm like uh, Oscar still technically is. Now Oscar, it's really falling apart. Still some gustier winds as we work our way to the southeastern sections of the uh, uh, Bahamas over toward the Turks and Caicos. Even northern end of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. All of this just getting tied into a front and you can see again losing its tropical characteristics as this marches its way off to the northwest. As far as the tropical storm force winds, uh, there's not a lot. There's some tropical storm wind gust. Right now winds are at about 40 miles per hour on this, uh, so nothing too terrible. But I do thank you for your trust because this was going to take a weird turn, that big turn, and it did. You can see the path on this, and I know there's probably some uncertainty on that, so I do appreciate appreciate you, uh, your trust, and that's why I was showing you why it was going to make a turn. It was another one of those fronts that it's getting caught into and working its way now up toward Bermuda. Now, here's Bermuda. As it moves by Bermuda, it's not a tropical system, but we'll get some of those gustier winds and watching out for some of the rain, and then it looks to be to the east of Nova Scotia, very close uh, to uh, Newfoundland as we work our way down the road. So let's spell out that. So here we are in Bermuda. We're not in action mode. I don't want to waste any time, uh, resources, uh, your time, and of course, uh, your resources, super valuable. We're in monitor mode. There's no major hurricane or anything like that headed in. It is going to be a fast moving system, non-tropical in nature, kind of a fast moving rain system moving by, but still some gusty winds, 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers an hour. I don't want to diminish that, but I know we can handle that in Bermuda. And then we get up here in anywhere from Nova Scotia in Newfoundland, we're in monitor mode as well. What's going to happen here is a little different. That front coming in from Quebec is really going to combine uh, to give us a lot of extra rain over toward uh, Newfoundland as we work our way into Thursday in particular. That's really the spot to uh, watch, right? Uh, so watching out for some gusty winds and we'll monitor that flood threat as uh, we go forward. We have seen worse systems, uh, but this is going to be a big rainmaker and some of the gustier winds. So here's Bermuda. This is later today. And then you see as we work our way into tonight and tomorrow, that rain moving in. So we've got a big rainmaker that is sliding in. In it, of course, watching out for some of the gusty winds. This is tomorrow morning. Then as we get deep, and by the way, here's that front coming through Quebec. You see the snow on the back side of it. That's helping to steer this up to the north. So as we work our way into Thursday, some of the rain clipping by near Prince Edward Island, uh, parts of Nova Scotia, especially northeastern sections. Uh, most of this to the east of New Brunswick, although New Brunswick, we're going to have that front pass by. And then you see here on Thursday, that's when we get more of that wet weather moving into Newfoundland, gusty winds. Uh, watching out for some of those downpours, colder weather on the backside. 
Then it moves off, and then yet again, another front that we'll be trying to work in. So you could see it here. There's no well-defined center out of this. That's why I mentioned it's really lost all its tropical characteristics. But you do see a swirl. It is a general area of low pressure, which is a storm system. And you see the white shading in here. Those would be some of the gusts of 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers an hour in Bermuda uh, throughout the uh, day tomorrow. So we're going to get the gusty winds. And then we'll see this all working its way up toward uh, Newfoundland, especially as you get over toward uh, St. John's and over toward the peninsula, that's where the winds will be strongest, right? We're going to have some winds gusting over 50 miles per hour. They could gust over 80 kilometers an hour just as this area kind of works in on Thursday, combines with the front, and then it will shift away on Friday. Now, watching this, here we are in Trinidad, uh, Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines. We've had those scattered areas of rain around. Still, we'll get some scattered showers. Jamaica back through Haiti as we go throughout the day. This area, while it's a tropical wave near Antigua, Barbuda, down through uh, Barbados and Dominica, it's not a organized, but we're still going to see some of the rainstorms scattered about for us in the Eastern Caribbean. Here's what's left of Oscar moving away. And on the flip side over here, by the way, I mentioned uh, Christy. We'll get into the uh, track of that in just a moment on the Eastern Pacific side. As we get into uh, tomorrow, what is left of Oscar is up through Bermuda, as I just showed you, scattered areas of rain, Panama, Costa Rica, and then watching out for a few more spotty showers, just hit or miss as we work away into Thursday. But all eyes will be on what may eventually try to develop in the West and Central Caribbean as we get into next week. That's why I wanted to start with that. Here is Christy on the flip side of things. The leftover moisture from Nadine really helped uh, fuel this, and you see this as a hurricane, but here we are in Mexico. This is going to move away. Then eventually it should weaken as it kind of lifts in latitude, lifts up to the north. I'll, of course, keep an eye on that, but that is good as that continues uh, to move away from land. Doesn't appear to be a threat to Hawaii at this time. Always watching everything. Now, those seas really building. Here's what's left of Oscar. As this lifts up with the front, the Atlantic waters are really going to build. Not as much in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. We're doing okay in the short term, but those seas building four and a half meters, that corresponds to about uh, anywhere from uh, 10, 11, 12, even 13 feet, even building further. This here is by Thursday with all of this moving into extreme eastern sections of uh, Canada and then, of course, the North Atlantic, very rocky. And then next week, we should see the seas on the uh, uh, higher side over the Central and Western Caribbean as we watch out for the next area of tropical development. So we have gotten down the list, and one of the sad things about this year is, of course, not only have we had a lot of named systems, but so very many have hit land. The first five hit land uh, before Francine decided to finally stay over water, uh, and, and that's just, just a high, really a high-impact season. The next name on the list is Patty, then Raphael, Sarah, Tony, Valerie, and William. So there's not much left on the list. If we were to get through the list, uh, I don't think we necessarily will. There is a secondary list of names. Now, as far as the rain goes, there was so much rain as expected in eastern Cuba because it just sat there. There were many spots over 10 inches of rain or 250 millimeters of rain. Fortunately, things are moving off. But of course, in Bermuda, we are going to see some higher totals as this rain starts to work in tomorrow. Some scattered showers, Haiti, Dominican Republic possible. Still in Jamaica, Cayman Islands, we can get one or two. If you get a shower, 25 millimeters of rain, or an inch of rain will be possible. Watching Puerto Rico, uh, Stacia, Antigua, Barbuda, Montserrat, Dominica. And then we get to the south, that moisture with that tropical wave. You see a little bit of purple showing up, even some white near us in uh, Trinidad and Tobago. And that means a few spots. If we get repeat showers, we can, and this is over three days, we could get a couple spots of 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain watching northeastern Venezuela, parts of Guyana, north side of Suriname for some rain, and then scattered about watching out for some downpours. We still had some of those downpours uh, around yesterday in parts of uh, Belize, Mexico City, not much in Texas, one of the dry spots. Much of the U.S. has been historically dry uh, for this October, especially central and eastern uh, U.S. So Jamaica, we have a 40, 50 percent chance of scattered showers and storms, 20% chance in the Cayman Islands, not very high, but it stays unsettled. Let me know in Trinidad and Tobago. If you have any spots of flooding, put your location, what you got going on, even if you don't get anything and things are nice, uh, put that in the uh, comments as well. There's the elevated chance of rain as we work our way through Barbados and St. Lucia as this uh, tropical wave moves in. So we'll have a 60% chance today in Grenada and still a 60% chance in St. Vincent the Grenadines and staying unsettled as well Wednesday into Thursday. Rain chance the next couple days in Martinique, 50%. 
And you see that elevated chance in Dominica. We're going to see some rounds of rain and storms at times the next few days. We'll do that in Guadalupe. Rain chance does go down as we work our way into Antigua and Barbuda. It's not zero though, 30 to 40% chance. 30% chance the next couple days, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat. 30 to 40% chance the next three days, Anguilla and St. Bart's. Rain chance about 30%. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. 30% chance today in Puerto Rico. 50% chance, though, for tomorrow. And running at about a 30% chance, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Rain chance the next couple days in the Bahamas, 40%. But it's really split, of course, southeastern Bahamas with what is left of Oscar trying to depart. So still those scattered areas of rain and storms around Turks and Caicos. Dominican Republic. Public favoring the north side, 40% chance of rain. Overall, 30% chance in Haiti. But northern coast, that's where we could see some extra showers and storms. In Belize, we have a 40% chance. 20 to 30% chance for today, tomorrow, and into Thursday for Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Rain chance in Guyana and Suriname favors northern sections with that better chance of rain. 40% chance by Thursday in Suriname. Cuba, we're looking at about a 30% chance of some isolated showers and storms. Costa Rica, Panama, 50 to 60% chance, and both in Nicaragua and in Honduras the next few days scattered about. Some of us stay dry. Some of us see about a 50%. We'll have about a 50% chance of some rain. Guatemala and El Salvador today, a 60% chance, 40% chance for tomorrow. Could see a passing shower or storm in Mexico City, 20 to 30% chance across the Yucatan, Cozumel, back through uh, Merida, Northern Colombia, 30% uh, percent chance, 40% chance in Northern Venezuela, and of course, watch Bermuda with the remnants of Oscar moving in that higher chance of rain tonight into tomorrow. So been trying to give you the heads up of that the last few days. So Oscar exiting the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos throughout the day watching Bermuda to Canada, and then we'll watch out for that buildup of rain in the Caribbean, and I will monitor for development. If this area does develop, I'll give you plenty of heads up on what it could be and where it may go. So thank you for being part of this weather community. Have a good rest of your day.